Now, listen, you guys, it seems like JT is in a bag-making season, okay? And she ain't stopping for anyone. And one thing about JT is the face card never declines, okay? Uh, we're also going to be talking about the City Girls and this entire Kim Petra collaboration. And we will be talking about the Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift alleged, uh, well hinted collaboration katy perry is out there basically selling her catalog some fans feel like well it was the wrong move and these are the topics that we're going to be talking about in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you're doing great personally i am doing great you guys i'm doing amazing but without further ado let us dive straight into today's tea so first of all you guys we're going to talk about jt being in her bag okay uh, now, she has called a major endorsement deal with Beats by Dre. Now, congratulations to JT. You guys know that I am a recent convert. Like, I'm literally now in love with JT as an artist and as a person. And so, I just want to say congratulations to her, uh, you know, for this endorsement. Now, speaking about this very same endorsement, you guys, she does look stunning in the pictures. Like... I, it's so unreal how good she looks all the time, like literally is giving AI, but I do know that, well, that's exactly how she looks, okay? So, yeah, congratulations to JT, and um, I mean, the first card never disappoints. The first card always is giving, okay? At least this is something on brand, okay? If you're going to do an endorsement, do something that is on brand for you. JT makes mu music, and she's out here, uh, you know, selling uh, beats by Dre. It, there is a correlation there. Like, I would be concerned if JT were to step out basically selling gravy or soup thickeners. <laughs> I'm not trying to be shady. I promise you guys. But I'm just saying that, well, at least these are, you know, headphones um, as opposed to soup thickeners. <laughs> anything to get the bag i guess eh? so yeah do hop into the comment section you guys and drop a congratulatory message to jt for this beats by dre um you know endorsement that she has gotten and also do let me know if you think that she ate up her look now i did see some weird people in the comment section saying oh my god she is sold out and i'm like Please leave JT alone, okay? You know she has anxiety and she doesn't need all of you stressing it out like that. Now, still speaking about JT and the City Girls, you guys, they recently revealed that, well, uh, there is a collaboration with them and Kim Petras. And uh, so, I mean, I'm looking forward to listening to the collaboration. Specifically, I will be looking forward to JT's verse because if you are new to this channel, I am now obsessed with JT since no bars, okay? All I do if I hear, like, there's a song that JT is on, on, I will fast forward to JT's part. Unfortunately, that's how much I love her. Okay, so I cannot wait to see exactly how she's going to blend in there with Kim. Um, of course, I'm gonna check out Young Miami as well, but I'm not gonna lie. Like <laughs> the one vest that I'm looking forward to is the JT vest. So do let me know in the comment section. Actually, I think the album just dropped, but I haven't taken a listen. So after I do listen to the album, I will let you go guys know how I feel about the JT best okay if you have uh, already listened to the song please do hop into the comment section and just you know spoil spoil us a little bit and um let us know how the song uh basically sounds like the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, you guys, I am going to be talking about Katy Perry. Now, it is being uh, said or reported that Katy Perry is out here selling her catalog, okay? Now, it's being reported that, well, she sold her catalog to Litmus Music, you guys, and uh, it is for $225 million. And it seems like some fans feel like, oh, well, uh, that was not a fair bargain on her part because they feel like, well, that catalog could have sold for more, okay? Okay, now one uh, concerned fan said 225 million for four diamond singles, nine number ones, over four, over 80 billion streams. Oh, Catherine, what have you done? And it seems like this is not the only person who is concerned about this entire deal because I did see a lot of concerned fans saying that, oh, wow, it could have sold for more because she is a star. And I totally understand where those people are coming from. But at the same time, I do believe that she has done her due diligence and she has done her cost-benefit analysis and she has realized that maybe 225 is the fair price. Now, if there's anyone who is 
is well, um, you know, educated, who knows well about selling catalogs, how, how much they are worth, please let us know in the comment section. Do you think that $225 million is a fair price for, um, you know, Katy Perry's uh, catalog? Let me know in the comment section what you think about that. And it seems like of late, a lot of celebrities are taking, uh, you know, this decision because you do remember that Iggy Azalea also did the same and decided to sell her catalog. So let me know in the comment section about that, you guys. Now, the last thing that I am going to be talking about, Nicki Minaj and this um, hinted Taylor Swift collaboration. Now, the streets are saying that while Taylor Swift and Nicki Minaj are going to be on the remake of Sagittarius, and I am tempted to believe, you guys, that there is some truth to this because if you do remember at the VMAs, Taylor Swift did call Nicki Minaj her favorite Sagittarius, okay? And uh, so it's kind of really, you know, coming together. It is making sense. I do believe that there is something cooking. And uh, looking back, you guys, a while ago, Nicki Minaj also did tweet and said that, oh, well, she's fighting the temptation to tweet um, Sagittarius things so hard. And so I'm kind of now believing that definitely there might be a song coming out between the two of them. Now, I cannot wait to see for this, um, to see how this song is going to sound like and how it's going to do. Because listen, Taylor and Nicki Minaj have got chemistry already. They love each other. They respect each other's craft. And um, if you see the way Taylor Swift was sitting down during, um, you know, the VIA base when Nicki Minaj was performing, taking in everything that was happening, I mean, I cannot wait to see the two of them on a song, okay? So yeah, do hop into the comment section, you guys, and let me know what you think about this, um, you know, hinted Taylor Swift and Nicki Minaj collaboration. Do you think that it's an actual thing or do you think that these are just conspiracy theories? And if you do believe that it's coming, let me know how you think it's going to do on the charts and how it is going to sound. Now, thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And uh, thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post. I post each and every single day and I keep you updated on what's happening in the celebrity world on Instagram, on Twitter, and about all things trending. And do not also forget to go and watch the video that is up on the T-Plug 2 about the hint that Ibro and Rosenberg had, uh, you know, during the Nicki Minaj H train. They are receipts over there that side on. Um, and I've noticed that a lot of people actually didn't know that things like that actually have happened. So if you would want to know where we come from when we say these people contributed to a certain extent towards the H train, you will know where we're coming from. Go check out that video on the T-Plug 2. And I'm sure later on today, there's going to be another video of what happened during the H train and the fake female rap unity. So see you on the T-Plug 2. And until my next one, see you.